What is up everybody? It is your boy Fire. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video, man. Definitely make sure to smash that like button. Let's get straight into it. So today's video is really going to cover a few techniques to get more depth and dimension out of your mixes. Uh, I really want all of your tracks to sound more three-dimensional. This is kind of a problem that I'm finding, um, you know, with today's music, especially when you're listening on Spotify, when you're listening to, when I'm listening to some of the stuff people send me, I'm finding the same kind of similarities in songs these days. And it's really... Uh, making for boring music industry, you know what I mean? I really want songs to kind of be jumping out the speakers, especially in hip-hop and rap and punk rap and that kind of thing. So really, I hope that I can help you um, by just going through a few techniques that are really going to help you get more kind of depth and dimension out of your track. So firstly, let's kind of identify what uh, depth and dimension would be within a song, right? When I think of a mix, I'm looking at all of these sounds within this mix as if they are in a room or in a hall or something like that. And I really want to be able to differentiate the difference between the elements in the front of the mix compared to the elements in the back of the mix, okay? I want to be able to hear some things pan to the left, some things pan to the right. I want to be able to hear a few delays that fade in and out. I want to hear sweeps and all these different things that are going to really create what we call a soundscape or, you know, uh, just a really nice overall experience, right? I really want every mix to sound as if it is a movie of some sort. You know, you don't really watch a movie and it's all one color, you know, um, directly and all these different movie producers always making use of different colors and making use of different panning techniques to really create a overall kind of experience and you can achieve this within your music as well so stick around for that man we're going to be looking at getting more depth and dimension in your tracks i'll play the song right now this is a post Malone vocal effect i did a while ago remixing honestly forget the name right now um take what you want and uh, as you can see, I have added some doubles and that kind of thing. And we'll really run through two or three techniques to get a better sounding mix. So stick around for that. Let's get straight into it. I had a risk and I gave everything I had. But seasons change, I guess the shit was just a fact. It was over, I just already knew. Set my heart to you. I just hope you get the clue. Yeah, what you want? Get it for you. I see ghosts, I see sprites, demons slayer in the night. I've been playing all these games, but I cannot anymore. You've been playing all these games when you call, I hit ignore. But you cannot save me, it cannot face me. What are you saying? These feelings won't go away. These demons keep chasing me. I feel you all right, so there you go. Lots of fun, lots of kind of, you know, different things going on within our mix. So, you know, as I said before, one thing I find with a lot of today's music is you've got a beat which sounds very two-dimensional and you've got a main vocal, very two-dimensional, and then that's pretty much the mix these days, right? That's very boring. Um, it doesn't really make for an experience that you'd want to go through again. This is maybe why you're getting not that many views on your songs because they don't have that liveliness, right? So, you know, let's get into it. So the first thing that we can identify within our tracks, the most common things we can find or the most easy to point out things within our mixes, we have these two doublers, right, that pop in and out um, kind of on the sides of the main vocal that really help add some impact to our tracks. Um, you know, when it comes to dynamics, some people ask, how do I get a dynamic sound in the mix? It's really the difference between the loudest and the softest elements within the mix, right? So if we listen... Take what you want to go. I had a risk and I gave everything I had. So you can kind of yeah start the the, the 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 track off with fading in with a doubler, right? Take what you want and go. And then by then there's the main vocal, right? So if we just kind of go over here. I had a risk and I gave it. And then the main vocal is obviously at center stage, it's mono, right? So that's kind of how we can fade into the track. We also have some um, kind of transitions. You know, we want to announce that something is going to happen, right? It's a build up towards the start of our feature or our part of the track. So, you know, start off by introducing yourself into the song via transitions as well as doublers and that kind of thing. You know, I learned this technique from guys like Lil Wayne who would do it a lot more um, kind of in a subtle way. They would just pop an ad lib in, you know what I mean? And then you would know, oh, Lil Wayne's going to start rapping, right? You know, so these few techniques can really help you um, just to kind of introduce yourself into the track, you know, especially at the beginning of a song. You know, I know the beginnings of songs, a lot of people struggle with, especially when they're making their own full tracks. What do they say? What do they do? You know, add some transitions. Don't add too long of an intro. So that's the first thing I would say in regards to introducing yourself but when it comes to the doublers obviously as you can see this one right here I had a risk and I gave everything I had but seasons change I guess this shit was just a fact it was over I just already knew 
So you can see how much different the doublers sound from the main vocal. Sounds like a lot of fun. So you know, as you can see, if you want to quickly run through the chains we have right here, if we just solo out this one. All we're really doing is making use of auto-tune um, and then making use of a telephone effect, you know, um, or a band pass filter really is what we call it, chipping away some of the highs, chipping away a lot of the lows, and we end up with this nice kind of telephone effect. But obviously on its own, it doesn't really sound too divided from the mix. It sounds good and it will definitely be sounding different from the, the main vocal, but once we add in a bit of flanger and then a little bit of EQ, corrective EQ, just to tuck it in with the mix. We kind of start to turn our vocal into something else and, and in, in hip hop it's really cool to be able to make use of your ad libs as if they are different instruments in a way. So think about your main vocal as being dead center telling the main story. You have these ad libs and doublers that are kind of telling the side story or the kind of uh, or adding into, you know, side characters of the story per se, right? Um, you've got your main vocal, very important, but then you've got your friends on the side that are just kind of adding more value to the storyline. You know what I mean? So if I didn't have these, Change, I guess this shit was just a fact. It was over, I just saw you know, it's not really that fun, right? So, you know, we can add on some different things. So this kind of second double, I called it the Aussie doubler. But really, we did quite a lot more. This show is just a fad. And this again is trying to sound like some sort of kind of heavy metal guitar, right? We're kind of adding um, a similar vibe to the overall story, right? So this is Ozzy Osbourne track. We want to make it sound kind of old school and gothic and really cool. So, you know, adding distortion to our vocal is something we can do. Um, again, adding a telephone eff effect, right? A band pass filter, adding a compressor to really squash the track, adding some flanger again, right? Adding some EQ, adding a bit of delay, slap delay. All these things are going to really help us kind of tell a different story towards the main vocal, add onto the main vocal. So as you can see, I also have pandem, so that's how we're getting that kind of left to right sound, right? So we're getting the front to back sound from the EQ, but we're also panning them left to right. So you, as you can see, the double pan hard left, or not hard left, but like 50% left, and then we've panned the Aussie doublet just a little bit right, and all of that adds up, right? Change, I guess this shit was just a fad. It was over, I just already knew. Set my heart to you I just hope you get the clue Yeah, what you want And as you can see right there Instead of me just saying clue We've got all these things that come in, right? Hope you get the clue Yeah, what you want Cool, but Hope you get the clue Yeah, what you want you can see how much more impact we have um, once we kind of transition to different parts of the track. So after that, man, we've also got a delay send, which we can set up. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get into the specifics of setting up delays because in your door it might be different. But the overall idea is that certain words you want to emphasize, right, via the use of delay. So as you can see right there, I decided, hey, want sounds like a really good word to delay. So as you can see, you know, here and there we have a delay send that, that gets set up, right? And those just help to fill up certain places where there aren't any of the main vocals. So as you can see right there, there's no main vocal over here. If we just solo that out. I hit ignore. But you cannot say and we also have another main vocal on the vocal chain itself so that's something that you can definitely do i really wanted a lot of space in this mix so you know we've got all these crazy delays going on but this is going to emphasize that empty space i hit ignore but you cannot say, you know i hit ignore but you cannot say and that just kind of continues emphasizing our story right so it's adding value right there i hit ignore and then we could add in something like this. I hit ignore, but you cannot save me. You cannot face me. What are you saying? These feelings won't go away. These demons keep chasing me. And as you can see, as we get towards the end of the track, we really start to emphasize the double so that we really kind of add this anticipation or kind of end the story off on a bang. It's almost like a symphony in a way. So yeah, man, that's pretty much all I can really give you, man. It's just to really, you know, look at the way you're producing your music as the same way you would be watching a movie, right? You, you watch a movie and it usually starts off simple and sweet or it starts off with the bang or it starts off with some sort of kind of crazy message that leads into something else and you've got a cast of characters, right? A movie doesn't just have one person in it, right? So meaning that your song shouldn't just have one main vocal. Do you know what I'm saying? So start to look into all the different fields 
and uh, you know begin to mix man and there's flies in here which is really annoying because this is a vacuum room so when a fly gets in here it doesn't leave <laughs> unless I kill it but yeah man hopefully you learned something in this video uh, definitely try to make use of these techniques and uh, you know learn to adapt you know learn to create your own style this is obviously the way I perceive it so obviously you can take that and uh, you know uh, build on that man you know or you can create your own style and uh, you know there are lots of really cool techniques to do it some people love to do doubles some people love to you know do beat drops and that kind of thing you could cut the beat out you know you know what I mean all these things you could do to really help kind of um, emphasize your tracks but yeah man definitely check out the full video on this definitely check out the vocal effect for this for FL Studio in the description box check out my vocal recording course vocal mixing course and vocal enhancer for FL Studio with that being said I'll check you out next time. Peace out.